I've always been somewhat weary about going to the park at night, especially in my neighborhood because I knew that a lot of sketchy things took place there under the cover of night. You see, in my part of town it was not uncommon to hear of someone getting randomly attacked in secluded areas. It seems parks are a hotbed for druggies and criminals. Despite my better judgment, that's exactly where I ended up with my date after watching a movie at a local theater. I wanted to extend the night a bit more so I suggested we head somewhere we could hang out and chat for a while. After she obliged, I found a remote area within the park and turned off the car. She wanted to get out and walk a little, but I told her it might not be a good idea because of the weirdos. She agreed and I made sure all the doors were locked and kept the windows slightly open. Initially while in the car, my head was on a swivel, but as time went on, my anxiety subsided somewhat. My date even cracked a joke saying I seemed paranoid. I laughed a little, but in fact, I was slightly on edge cause little did she know, the dangers that lurked in these areas and above all else, I clocked three male silhouettes at the top of the hill where we were parked. Of course you're going to see people in the park at all times of the day and night, but my main concern was that they kept their distance. I didn't want to be caught off guard. I just wanted to be ready for whatever is to come. Because it was dark, I could only make out that they were sitting down and talking. What disturbed me a bit was I couldn't tell what direction they were looking, at us or the other way. Ultimately, I wasn't going to let some guys ruin my night. After all, I was in the company of a gorgeous girl and we were vibing off each other. As the night went on, my attention was now fully on her. I remembered to look at my surroundings and noticed the silhouettes were gone. With a sigh of relief I proceeded once again to make sure all the doors were locked. Almost immediately I heard my date whisper the words, oh my god. Next to me, was a guy wearing a hood and mask, tapping the driver's side window with the tip of a knife. Another jumped on the hood pounding on the windshield and a third was trying to pull the door open on the passenger side. It seemed surreal and as if time was playing out in slow motion. My date screaming brought me out of the haze and I quickly turned on the car. I revved the car forward and broke hard and then reversed it out of the area onto the main street. I was really scared, but also enraged. I was going to get us out of this situation no matter what. In hindsight, it all happened so fast. I can't even recall if I ran over any one of those guys, but if I did, I could totally live with that. <laughs>